What's going on, Bunch of Crunch Army? Welcome back to another video. As you probably already know, if you play on keyboard and mouse, your keybinds are absolutely critical when it comes to maximizing your performance in game. So, without good keybinds, your mechanics will probably fall behind and your gameplay is going to struggle. And that's why today we're going to be covering the best keybinds for mouse and keyboard players, no matter who you are and what playstyle you prefer, all right? Speaking of mechanics, if you're trying to improve really fast mechanically, be sure to check out ProGuys.com where you can talk with a pro coach or even get your gameplay reviewed and save yourself some time. Make sure before we start that you are sub to our channel, man. When we get to a million, we're going to release my personal story of how I became your motivation guy, and it's going to be very inspiring. I cannot wait to release it. So go ahead and sub to the channel and join the Bunch of Crunch Army. All right, with that being said, Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's Let's get this going. So it's no secret that keybinds are very important, but the importance of keybinds goes way beyond just being fast at building and editing. In fact, having good keybinds can really be the difference between being pretty average and being absolutely insane mechanically. Things like switching weapons efficiently, right? Building and editing fast, being comfortable while playing, how you move and peek, and so much more are all directly impacted by your keybinds. A key few factors that go into a good set of keybinds include being close to your WASD buttons, utilizing your mouse side buttons, and being spread out between your fingers so you don't slow down too easily. So overall, having good keybinds is critical for so many different aspects of your gameplay, and really finding a set you're comfortable with is the ultimate goal, guys. Even Booga has a pretty weird looking set of keybinds, but he's comfortable with them, right? And that's why it works so well. So with that being said, for the remainder of the video, we're gonna go over a bunch of the best sets of keybinds for you guys to just try out no matter what your situation is, all right? Just keep in mind, a lot of this comes down to preference, so don't be afraid to experiment and just see what you like the best. So for the first set of key binds we're going to talk about is your traditional optimal binds that people talk about. These binds pretty much allow full control over your movement, fast building and editing, and everything you could really need in a solid set of binds. All right, so this set of key binds consists of your top side mouse button for wall, V for floor, which you press with your thumb, your bottom side mouse button for ramp, and left shift for cone. Trap can be pretty much any bind. A lot of players have had success with R, and you could really just choose between E and F for your editing. This set of binds is undoubtedly like the most well-rounded and just generally best for most players. It may take a bit of adaption for some of you guys since it involves pressing a build button with your thumb, but it's nothing that you can't get used to with some practice and creative, all right? But overall, all right, this optimal keybind setup is absolutely amazing for the majority of players. So this is definitely the one I would consider using first if I were you. All right, so the next set of keybinds is a very unique one, popularized by a YouTuber named Booty Clap KC. What a name. And uh, this set of keybinds basically involves switching the entire side of your keyboard. Essentially, your fingers are going to be on your I, J, K, L keys instead of W, A, S, D. It does sound kind of crazy, but just bear with me here, okay? So this is an incredible set of keybinds, surprisingly, for three main reasons. First off, you can shift your keyboard left, meaning you get more room for your mouse to move around. Second, you have more keybinds, which you can actually press. And finally, you don't have to hold your keyboard in an uncomfortable position like sideways or angles. So you could just avoid playing in an uncomfortable way. So with that said, the keybinds for I, J, K, L typically look something like this. I for move forward, J left, K backward, and L for right. Jump on the Windows key, which you'll want to rebind to another key using whatever your keyboard software is. Crouch on space, wall on U, floor on semicolon, stairs, and cone both on your side mouse buttons, and your cone on the space bar. After that, you could just set your use to H or M and pretty much do whatever you like for the other binds. Okay, so for your pickaxe and weapon slot, we recommend setting them to 9, O, P, 0, bracket and hyphen. However, this is something that you might want to experiment with because it really depends on the player. Obviously, okay, I, J, K, L is a pretty advanced setup, but if you can just set up properly and just get good with it, this strange set of keybinds might be amazing for you guys. But once again, it really all comes down to yes, yes, preference. So if you don't like it, then don't force yourself, all right? By the way, keep in mind that if you're struggling to find 
when your key binds or feel like you're not getting comfortable with it. You can always go talk to one of our pro coaches over at ProGuys.com who can really give you guys more recommendations and show you the best methods to learn your new binds. While you're there, make sure to check out our Vibe Review service where a pro player will analyze your gameplay, saving you time and helping you improve faster. All right, moving on from that, I know that some of you guys may have circumstances where maybe, you know, using side mouse buttons isn't viable or you just don't prefer using them. So if you fit this description, then this next set of keybinds is perfect for you. All right, so this set of keybinds consists of using Q for your wall, F for your floor, V for your ramp, which you could just press with your thumb, left shift for cone, and tab for your trap. This leaves E for edit, and you can just pretty much pick whatever you like for the other binds. This set of keybinds is really a solid one, and it's an amazing alternative for those of you who don't like using mouse buttons for building or just simply don't have them. Mouse buttons are pretty much important when it comes to having the best key binds, so you don't have to make a bit of a sacrifice with these binds, but the skill potential is still close or even the same with these binds. Ultimately, with some practice, they should be just fine. Okay guys, so our last set of binds is gonna be semi-optimal, meaning you know it may be a bit more comfortable for you, but it's not perfectly optimal. But keep in mind, comfort is more important than optimality, so this is worth considering for a lot of you guys. All right, for this set, your wall is going to be on your top mouse button once again, your floor will be on F, your ramp will be on your bottom mouse button, and your cone will be on Q. Your trap is gonna go either tab, R, or V, and you can just set edit to E. This set of binds is yet another awesome one. Comfort is really the key, guys, and this set of binds is super comfortable for a lot of players. So if you feel like the other set of Optima binds isn't really comfortable with you, like just be sure to try this one out because it actually is a really solid alternative without risking much mechanically. So you've got your key binds chosen and you're ready to get started with them. The biggest thing that I would recommend you guys do when you first start off with new keybinds is really to put all your focus on creative. You know, a lot of people really don't like creative for the fact that it's not always realistic, but the thing is that when you're starting with new keybinds, you need pure, straight up practice, and that's why it's so great as opposed to just playing the game normally. When you're learning your new key binds, the majority of your practice time should be spent in a flat, normal island. Start nice and slow with some basic drills and slowly just build up your muscle memory for everything that you previously knew, all right? This simple method of practice is genuinely the best way to do it. As you continue improving with your new binds, you know, start doing some more advanced drills, then start getting into some 1v1s and eventually, with enough practice, you'll be all set to hop into some pub matches and arena. Really, as long as you really start slow and ease into new things, switching to new key binds is not gonna be, you know, a crazy difficult process. In fact, if you practice efficiently and really put the time in, you could possibly be even better than before with just a week or two of practice. Overall, you know, when starting with new key minds just start off slow and just work your way up guys trust me be patient you're not gonna learn instantly it's not gonna happen overnight remember enjoy the race enjoy the race it's not a sprint it's a marathon Overall, guys, all right, that's what we got for you guys today. Okay, let's do a recap. Keybinds are absolutely critical for basically every aspect of your gameplay. Having a set of keybinds, which are close to WASD, spread decently between your fingers so you can perform actions fast, and overall comfortable for your preference, yo, it's gonna benefit you a ton. So we strongly recommend just trying out the keybind sets we discussed in this video today, including the optimal and semi-optimal binds, okay, IJKL binds, and the no mouse button binds, and using the practice tips that we discuss to really maximize your improvement speed keep going because i really believe in you all right guys once again this is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen bunch of crunch army where you at thank you so much for watching make sure to let us know in the comments like what you really thought about the video and what you guys like to see next and join and sub and be a part of our army the bunch of crunch army you know make sure guys you stay going for it in life and don't give up don't surrender bunch of crunch army keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going